Hey everyone, BNSF9382 here with a quick little video on my bridge area. Um, I know I mentioned before that uh, I needed to get another piece of that bridge track. <clears throat> well, I, I ordered that online and, and it came in the other day, so uh, spent a little bit of time prepping that and getting it ready uh, for installation. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted to kind of show you how I cut and spliced that bridge track together so it looks pretty clean. Um, like everything else, you know, there's a ton of different ways that this could probably be done. Um, this is what I came up with, and it looks pretty good. Uh, you can't really see the splice joints, and uh, I think it came out pretty good, so... Uh, bear with me as always as I move this camera around. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I'm also going to show you a couple other things on the uh, bridge area. As you can see, I've gotten a base layer of, of uh, turf down in the median. And uh, we'll go over that here in a minute. But uh, let's go over this bridge track real quick. Stand by. Okay, once again... There's the part number that I've been using. Uh, I don't know what other options are out there. This was the uh, first style that I ended up with for the uh, for this bridge back here. So I wanted to keep them all the same and uh, use this uh, Walther's bridge track. So let me show you what I got. Okay, the uh, this is the new piece that's uh, been measured, cut, <clears throat> spliced, and painted. Uh, I don't have track hooked up to it yet. Uh, that's coming later on today. But uh, again, I think this track looks really well. A lot of detail. Uh, looks just like the picture in the advertisement from Walther's. But uh, let me uh, first show you how I cut this track. You know, I didn't want to use just uh, rail nippers. Uh, I didn't think I'd get the clean cut that I was after. So I used my little miter box and my uh, miter saw. And when I cut this, I, I put it upside down in here. And uh, I, I usually put a piece of styrene in here to fill in the gap so it doesn't move around. And then uh, very carefully just cut it. And then... Uh, once, the, once it's cut and measured to the correct length, you have to splice these together. So let me remove this and show you on the back how I splice these together. In the previous video, I had talked about cutting ties. Well, I did all the work from the bottom, and I removed ties in here. This is the splice joint right here. I removed... I, cut the ties from the bottom so I could install rail joiners in there. Uh, once I got it all lined up and everything I used a long straight edge to keep everything straight and I soldered uh, the rail joiners in place. Let's see if I can get this close here and focus on this. But that's the, uh, the splice joint. You can barely just see the uh, rail joiners in there but uh, again I think I think it turned out pretty good for I didn't want to have a glaring obvious uh, gap in there so uh, again I think it turned out pretty good again I, I cut both sides close to the uh, rail so there is a little bit of uh, these two ties actually kind of touch, but again, uh, I think it looks pretty good. So uh, that about covers it for the bridge track. It's coming along. Hopefully I'll have this uh, other track reconnected here today and be able to run both these lines. But uh, another thing that I did, simple little thing that I think is going to add some detail, is I picked these up at the local hobby shop the other day. Uh, just stickers. 
you have to cut them out and stick them on. But uh, they're manhole covers and drainage um, grates. But uh, I put a couple of those in the median, and I think once I get, uh, I'm going to put some static grass in here also, uh, which I have to order yet. But uh, I think this is going to add just a little bit of detail. A little uh, sewer manhole covers. And I put grates, grate covers up here next to the uh, piers. Again, uh, I think once I get them uh, all the scenery done in this area, I think that'll just add just a little bit of touch of detail. But uh, again, that's an uh, update on the bridge area. You know, I did get some more uh, K rails, and I got those painted. Uh, I actually like uh, how I used a, I used the same type of paint, but I probably thinned it a little bit differently uh, this time, so these don't exactly match. Uh, which I like. I'm going to mix those up. And uh, these are just uh, set in place and I attached. But uh, I think I'm going to mix them up with the lighter colored ones and the darker ones. But uh, again, that's about it for the bridge area. I think it's coming together. Uh, again, I'm going to put some static grass uh, there in the middle and uh, some type of, I was looking at some O-scale shrubs that I think will uh, maybe work in there, but I don't want to put trees and I don't want to put uh, HO shrubs seem to be too small. So I was thinking of going with a uh, O-scale shrub type thing down the center here. But, uh, and another uh, one of my subscribers had, had asked me if I was going to put lights in here. Uh, I think at some point I will put some highway lights uh, in this area, but uh, those things are pretty pricey. And uh, at least the ones I'm seeing from uh, Walther's and some other places. But uh, that'll be on the list for some time down the road. But uh, again, uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, We'll get this posted and we'll talk to you there. BNSF 9382 out.